Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, well, this week marks one year since end of support for Windows 7. It's on January 14th, 2020. That was the last patch Tuesday available for security in Windows 7 for regular consumer version of Windows 7. There are some updates for those that have paid for long-term support at a very high cost, but most people using Windows 7 are actually in a uh, operating system that now has, if you still keep using it, hundreds and hundreds of security flaws. And it might look like unimportant for a lot of people, and I get that message quite frequently, where a lot of people say, well, you know, it's not important. I'm running Windows 7. It's fine. And I got great antivirus. And anybody that talks like that, it's obvious you have no idea how computers work because you are not only vulnerable, but your antivirus is completely useless in an environment where hundreds and hundreds of security flaws are now a part of the system. That means anywhere you go, there could be an intrusion within the system on the internet and you don't even know about it. And without uh, also the fact that you might have stolen personal information of all sorts, it is pretty, uh, pretty amazing that some people are stubborn enough to continue using Windows 7 uh, under these conditions. So it's pretty incredible. Um, if we consider that Windows 10 had the biggest Patch Tuesday uh, updates uh, in, in, in the months of uh, May, June, July, I believe it was like April, May, June, July, August, were like the biggest Patch Tuesday security updates. It's fair to say that a lot of those security flaws are also shared in Windows 7, but of course they were not patched for Windows 7. So it's one year now that Windows 7 is uh, off. We know that it's running on about 18 to 20% of PCs. So that means that it's still hundreds of millions of PCs out there that are running it. Uh, pretty crazy. <clears throat> and of course, the majority of the Windows 7 machines are probably enterprise. And um, that hopefully will be fixed. Uh, there is an increase in the uh, adoption rate of Windows 10 in Enterprise, but we got to say COVID actually slowed down the process of um, upgrading in different businesses. Um, you know, businesses were shut down, a lot of people working from home, and of course, lack of funds in some cases made the uh, removal of Windows 7 kind of more of a problem in 2020. So looking forward, if you do still use Windows 7, you really should be changing to another uh, operating system, whatever you want. I don't care what operating system you're going to use next, but use a secure one because uh, you are not only uh, a security risk for yourself, but you're a secu security risk for everybody around you and everyone on the internet. And that, of course, a lot of people don't care because they're too selfish, but should not be the case. You should uh, really move on um, to a new operating system, that's for sure. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.